Hey bosses, it's Nina. So of course it's funny how you think of something and all of a sudden Facebook starts sending you advertisements for it. So um, I'm doing an event this week and I was getting ready to start looking for some event software for splash pages that are free. Um, it is a free event and so I didn't want to pay for a landing page or anything like that. Um, and I got an advertisement today for a new service and I'm like, wait a minute, I forgot about Splash That. I used this a while back and so I wanted to introduce you all to a landing page service that is actually free. Now this is geared towards events, um, but you can make it work for you. I haven't logged in in a while, so let's jump in. Um, it's SplashThat.com, okay? And all you gotta do is click on or try it for free. Now when you jump in, you get sale tickets and then there's all kinds of other event options they have. I'm just gonna select host an event for free. So when you're hosting a single event, all you have to do is click on host for free. I'm gonna sign up with my Facebook, which I think I may already have some stuff in here from before. Yes, so let me look at um, my previous one. So I did this event in California. And so I'm going to show you real quick. Let's see how I can preview it. I'm sure there's no features because this has been like a year. Yep. So I did a slave post. Hey, are you a uh -oh. barber, a stylist, a salon owner, a makeup artist who's looking for more clients? Of course you are. Have you thought of using Instagram for your social media marketing? Well, I'm going to show you how to Okay, I couldn't find it. It's like right here. Let me pause this. Okay, I forgot that was on there. So it doesn't show like that on the site, of course, or maybe it does now. So I'm going to view as a guest so you can see. We're just going to do an overview of Splash That. Okay. Of course. Okay, it's been a year, so it looks like this is really, really small when it used to be large. But let me just go through this. So this is my title area, so I can have larger, different size um, photos. Everyone can RSVP, of course, it's closed. Um, all the details, I had some photos here, right? Register for free, links, what they're gonna learn. It was just super duper easy to make this. Maps, all of this. So actually, I'm probably gonna do this event again, and all I have to do is go back and update that video. So that's a splash that page. Let me go back so you can see. So each item is an element. So if you look, I can, this is like how much transparency it is, and I can edit things individually, and the toolbars come up here. So bold, italicize, the colors. You can also insert code. Um, this area, I'm just gonna edit it. So what you can do is you can link this out to whatever you need, or you can actually set up a form for your registration. Each of these are just text boxes, right? These are images that I have, and I just pulled up some stock images, and I uploaded them, backgrounds, all of that. So at least you get an overview. You know, you could edit the address. It tells you where to go. This is an overview of Splash That. So I'm gonna create a new one. Um, let's start, keep in mind I have not used this forever. I'm gonna use a dummy one, but I will be using this for an upcoming event. But for now I'm just gonna create a dummy one so you can get all the features. So I'm gonna click on create event. Okay, so you can do an RSVP event, which is what I'm gonna do, or a ticketed event. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to RSVP. Notice if you have Salesforce, you can connect it. I do not, do not need Salesforce. Test event, and it's gonna give you a domain name. So if you're in my Pink Boss Academy, you already know there's a course in there on how to point your domains to your splash pages and your landing pages. So you can use that here. Hashtags, so you can um, hashtag the event and what event type. So I'm gonna put Probably a conference. Oh, it's a seminar or workshop. That's what it is. Location, let's just say, what is, I'm trying to think of a place that I like. Let's do to see these. 
So I just pulled up a location. So it added the address for me. You can edit it. You can add the date and time. So let's just say this is the event that I'm going to do is going to be on the 27th and it's actually a social media um, course and it's going to be free um, in Atlanta, but it's first come first serve. So I'm going to do this at like 10 a.m. And so let's just do that. Social, let's do learned it live. Social media for small businesses, right? Way too long, but we're just going to keep that for now. You can add an end time, I believe. Let me go ahead and just click on the time. Oops. Yeah, there you go. End time, right? So let's just say, so this would be a.m., and this would be PM Eastern time. Let's click on next. This is what I love. There's recommended themes. Look at these. So there's a couple of um, themes based on seminars and workshops. You can also change it. So say it's a conference, change the conference and see what's available there. Right. And so launch event. There's all kinds of different types. I'm just going to click on all. So you can see there's a ton of them. You know, of course, I'm drawn to the pink, so I might go there just because of the color. Um, there's a lot of different options here. And basically, you just pick your comp your your um, template and go. Notice there are starter templates over here, where, which you can edit. And then there's also foundation templates, which you can change the colors. These are like basically basic templates where you want to really get in there and add your code. So I'm just going to do recommended. Let's do, um, actually, let's just do networking event and see what this does. Okay, we'll select this. Great choice. We're getting your page ready for its close up. All right, let's jump in. So now that it's here, right down here, I like that they're asking if you recommend it, but I would tell them to do it later, like maybe after someone used it because they don't know yet. So here's the image over here. I would edit the image. I'm just going to pause real quick. Okay. I had some pop-ups coming up. All right. And then, so you can upload it. Um, there's stock images that they have. Nice. Let's see. This is my ultimate test. If they have a black woman, because a lot of times it'd be a woman in black. They have black women. Oh, I see this image all over. Someone's using this for an advertisement right now. Um, I would put my own picture here, but for now, oh, look at this beautiful they have natural hair they passed my test there okay let's pick this queen here okay and then what you would do is you would um also upload your logo so you can upload it from your computer if you want okay i have a learned it um logo but i'm not sure if it's gonna look right there yeah it's a little big i didn't i did this in pick monkey i didn't really do the correct sizing so I probably need to redo those, but we'll just use this. No. Anyways, we'll leave it there. It's a little tiny, but hey, you can see it. Um, you can have a link. So if someone clicks on that, it goes to learneditonline.com small business training. Hub, right the background color for the logo all that kind of stuff so that's all there you the dates already in there you could just simply double click change the um, text so I'm gonna go ahead and do this I did an enter or a return and I'm gonna select this and see if I can change just that font size Nope, it's the whole thing. So you're going to want to, um, you know, in PicMonkey, you can select certain things. So here, all of this is here. All I would do is, where are the elements on the side here? Okay, so this is the free version. So we're not going to be able to add elements up here. I'm going to go down here. I can add a block. Notice when you add a block, that's when you can say, I want to add list. Um, this is where I add my video. You can add a schedule, speakers, your countdown, your audio, any social media, just anything. Attendees, who's attending, right? So let's say speakers and notice it has the template. Basically, you're just 
selecting what you want, double click and fill it in. Kind of like the Canva of um, landing pages and um, event pages, right? So you just, I can add the speakers there, add another block. And so notice each area has a place where you can add things. So I can add things right below this. So that's gonna add another speaker, right? And then you could add another block, oops. You could add another block for your videos, etc. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through all of these. You guys can double click, figure them out, play around with them. <clears throat> Just wanted to know that, wanted you to know that you can actually set up these landing pages. Um, you can add additional items below here, all of that. You just have to kind of hover over and then see what it gives you. So I can do that. Okay. And it actually reminds me of entre pages a little bit. Um, let's just, we'll leave that for now. Let me go over the items on the side because when someone RSVPs, you want it to do something, right? Let me scroll up. So you RSVP, it gives you some elements here, but on the side, you're going to have to have them fill out a form right so here's where you add the extra questions you have your name your email maybe your phone number um, there's all kinds of additional items here but you can just add custom um, questions I like that they added social but you can add customs questions if you need the other thing that you're gonna need to do is set up a confirmation so after they um, reply you're gonna to want to say, thank you for registering, you know, here's the information or whatever. Um, share it on Facebook, and then you send them an email that says, hey, here's your confirmation, see you at the event. So basically the first one is a form that they're filling out. The second one is their confirmation. They do have a waiting list option, so you can accept or reject um, registrations and also have a limit. So here's the RSVP no, so yes or no, and then the waiting list. So if you run out of people, um, there's, excuse me, if you run out of spaces, there's specific headlines and text that you can send them um, based on if they responded yes, no, or if they're, they've been added to the waiting list. Sorry, you guys, it's early and I'm like fumbling over my words. The next one is your email. So this one you have to, let me just see. Yep, I believe you have to be um, an upgraded um, user. And there's different templates that you can use. There's just a lot of stuff that you can use um, with email, but I don't need that. Um, I have active campaign for that. And then as people actually register or you register them, so you can register different people, upload it, add tags, add your contacts then you can also check them in um, and you can also go through like just different options in here. I'm not gonna go over this. I don't usually use this after I've started. Um, and then the next thing is your analytics, um, which again, I believe, advanced analytics only has, yep, is for advanced accounts. Okay, we're gonna go down to the settings. Eventually. I'm just going to click somewhere else and click back here. So here's all the settings for the event all in one place. So the venue, any tags, the host name, what type it is, all of that kind of stuff, all of the metadata. So searching. So if you um, have keywords, like if it's an event, it's a local event. I'm trying to think of an example. So say you teach people how to purchase their own home and you're in Midtown Atlanta. You may want to write a description here just so people can find you when they're searching on the internet, right? And then there's your share settings and how um, everything appears. So how's it gonna appear if someone shares it on Facebook or Twitter, and there, I think there's one more, and LinkedIn, right? But once you have this done and you save it, right? I can view it as guest. The landing page you can use is gonna be, or the URL is gonna be this. And if you are using something like Namecheap, which I am, you can just create your own event title, I'm um, excuse me, event URL, and point it to this URL, and then everything is branded. Okay, bosses, I hope I taught you enough for you to get started with your own free Splash page using Splash That. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. If you have any questions, ask them below or head over to pinkboss.club, my free Facebook group. We'd love to have you. 
um, or check out any of these other videos that might interest you. Thanks. Ciao.